Your health is your greatest wealth. And if your health is against the wall, your back is against the wall. If your back is against the wall, sometimes your health is against the wall. It comes down to a fine line and making a decision that's best for you. Now, this channel is really based around living a, a wellness life, right? A life that's healthy, in abundance, but also balanced. I talk about intermittent fasting. I talk about taking your steps daily, walking, making a habit of breaking your walking down in, in various intervals through the day, 15-minute intervals times four. You get an hour's worth of walking. Just break your goals down into small incremental windows and just in your brain, right? Just to program it, reprogram your mind in that way. And I didn't want to make this channel... I didn't, I didn't want to drift further away from this topic here because I think it's all interconnected in a way, right? Because what we sometimes forget and overlook is the mind, right? It's so cliche that none of this works and none of this moves forward in every sense if your mental health starts declining and if your mental health is not in a place where, where it's supposed to be. You know, if you've been following the channel, I've lost a couple of subscribers and I've gained a couple of subscribers, which is which is okay. This journey is going to be a teacher. I'm I'm here for the ride. I'm not here to um, close the book or, or or write off this this chapter in my in my timeline, right? In my in my path. This is personal to me. So if you've been following my channel just yesterday, I turned in my resignation letter at work, which is essentially a two week notice. My corporate work, it's a, it's a tech job, um, and I was very proud, and I'm still very proud of that role I held, and I'm still, a, technically, I'm still employed. Uh, I'm going to, you know, probably work for another couple of weeks, a month, tops. The switch that I flipped on Friday literally came down to my back being against the wall, and my mental health was already declining um, since last year, so this was overdue. And I stayed because of the paycheck. I stayed because I needed, I thought I needed the paycheck. And actually, I do. I do need the paycheck. We all do. But I put myself in a position these last two years or so. Working in Las Vegas, Nevada, obviously, there are no state taxes. So, you know, that's beneficial. That's savings. Huge, big time, if you compare that to California, right? And then I kept my same salary that I was making in Silicon Valley. San Jose, California. So nothing had changed. Your money goes a lot, a lot further here. But I really don't have much debt. So I'm in a position to now slowly let go of this dependency on, on a two-week, a bi-weekly paycheck and really go in all in on, on my dream, my passion. But even before I go there, this was me taking a step back and saying enough that I already know that my health was declining mentally. And then it started showing up physically in my body. The anxiety attacks got out of hand. I couldn't show up properly on my Zoom calls. And I started choking on my Zoom calls. I could feel it. And then I started having a, a disassociation with just the people that I, was, that, that I was seeing on the screen. Like, who are these people? Like, Either they were putting on a facade or forcing themselves to be there. You, you know they don't want to be there. We're all there to collect paychecks. That's what it seems like. And we're saying the right things. We're all saying the right things. In my head, I'm like, do you, does anyone not have a soul? Because I can see it. Like It's like you're slowly dying a slow death. You're bleeding away and you, you get your paychecks, and you, but, but I feel like you're dying a slow death. And this, a corporation will always find a way, a company will always find a way to make sure that they tell you and they shove it down your throat that you're not doing enough, you're not smart enough, you can always do more. More to them is defined by tripling, quadrupling your workload and then expecting you to be really smart in figuring out the technical stuff. 
how, how, how does one do it? I know I'm not dumb, but realistically, it's not sustainable. They refuse to hire help, and I end up doing three people's job. But eventually, the money was not worth it. And so back against the wall, health against the wall, right? Health against the wall, back against the wall. You can interchange both until one day your health is really up against the wall and there ain't no coming back from that. And it's all downhill from there. So if, if you have the opportunity to make a choice and put yourself in a position to quit and let go of that parachute, right? And choose to create your own destiny, I think it's possible. See, I want to come back to this video when my future self gets his first income through this that I'm doing here. And I don't know where this is going to go, but I have to document this in real time. I have to document this in real time because even if I fail, right, I don't think I'm going to fail actually. I'm not, forget about the word think. I'm not failing this time. I failed before because I wasn't this locked in. I wasn't this dialed in. And I wasn't this motivated. This time, this is going to work. So there's opportunity in pain. There's opportunity in... There's a reason why you go through something, right? Couldn't be further from the concept of insanity, of doing the same things over and over again and expecting a different result. This is not my first corporate rodeo or gig. I've worked for some of the largest financial institutions in America. You name it, I think I've done it. I've gone up the corporate ladder. I was only a few few layers removed from the CEO level. I was talking to the CEO. But see, the more you climb that ladder, you realize it's not that fulfilling, at least to me. I mean, I, I'm ha I was happy what, with what I was doing until the pressure and situation, circumstances at work changed because there, there's always changes at a company and that and it's not my minor change these are massive changes shifting it can shake up the org right this can be in this in, in the form of layoffs as we've all seen it i've been fortunate to survive some of these cuts by tripling down on my studying overloading my brain this is outside of all the work that i was already doing and my health just continued to decline. Chest pains, anxiety attacks, racing heartbeats, you know, just pure. It was miserable. Sundays would come and I would just start, I would start getting sore. My body would feel paralyzed. I'd break out and sweat. And, and, and you know what? I wasn't the only one. I've had a few people at my job cry. And this is in the space of three, four months. One person has cried at least four times now on different times, on different calls. This person has cried. There's other, there's other folks as well. There's other people as well that have cried. I broke down uh, over a week ago, two weeks ago, when I had my media review with my manager. And I love the guy. Nothing against him. It's the system. <sighs> Just talking about this is therapy. The fact that I'm, I'm, I'm awake at midnight on a Sunday now, technically Saturday now going into Sunday, that I have found freedom and joy in, and, and, and love in doing this. I, this is not a fast road to success. I don't know what tomorrow looks like, but I know that I'm free. And I can feel my chest pain subsiding. I can feel the balance, the energy in my body just... There's a relief, like a big weight off of my shoulders. It's a big, big relief. And I want you to feel that too. I was the corporate child. I was the poster boy in, in my own regard, right? It's the experience that's speaking now, like making that decision that while I have the youth, the vigor, the energy, I need to go all in on something that's greater than the corporate life. It's greater. It's my calling. It's my calling. So I'm hoping this inspires you. I don't have the right answers. Maybe this video is not for you. Maybe it is for you. 
maybe you found a few pieces in here. If you got questions, ask me. Leave it in the comments. You can find my handles, social media. And hopefully it resonates with you and, and may you be able to make the best decision for you, your mental health, and just your overall well-being. It's only been 24 hours or 36 hours since I gave in my notice. I'm just taking it all in and processing it. Till the next one, all right? Mamba out.